Hey, you down here? Okay. Uh, doing, uh, I was sitting there thinking, okay, how, I've already done a test. I know everything's working, but I thought maybe I should do another one. Just take days to ever get anything done. All right, so here's my dryer that I'm coming back on work, back to work on my dryer. And uh, I have looked up, done a bunch of two days of research, tried to, and, and I figured out, uh, you're not going to be able, I'm not planning on you being able to see this, just me, but um, I uh, emailed it so that it could be, I could look it up on the tablet. That's not going to stand up like that. I probably should have cleaned this top of the dryer off. There we go. Okay, now. Uh, oh, okay. Good. I left the last thing. Out. This is actually where I need to start. Uh... First, I want to make darn sure of is that I got 240 volts. Uh, I didn't do a specific test on that uh, because they say that even your your breakers, once they get old, they might. I have seen breakers. They were talking about them kind of halfway being almost pop, almost popped is what I always call it, almost broken open but not completely, and. Uh, so I'm going to uh, trash can might end up getting my way. We'll see. So I'm going to unplug it. I need it unplugged to do the test that I'm doing anyway. And uh, let's see what we get here. Oh, these these won't reach in there unless I take the covers off of them. I had the back door. Well, the sun's almost down anyway, so. Not getting any, anything at all. I think what I'll do, I thought about it as I was unplugging it. It's pretty, I don't know exactly where the connect contacts are in there, but if I leave the plug in, but not all the way, then I can just uh, use them as contacts for my testing. I hate wires when they're twisted, but I usually end up with more trouble trying to untwist them. Okay. 250, exactly. Now we should get 126 on that leg. 126 on that leg. So, yeah, we need it unplugged. So we can do a continuity test. Well, f well, that was... This thing keeps going to sleep. Okay. Uh, I've got a drop light this time, so I don't see that silly flashlight. I charged it up. Yeah, it's at 95%. I got some stupid crap popping up here. There's no ad blocker on this thing. God bless America. I hate that crap. Ah, uh, no. Keyboard came up. I hate touch screens, but it's the only thing I had to bring out here. My my lap. I've got two laptops. Mom's using one, and the other one I'm using as my web server. And I don't even have the Wi-Fi hooked up to it, so I can't. Even risk bringing it out here. Yes, I'm looking at Simplify. Oh, I thought I was looking at the Simplify view. There we go. That's cool. That makes all that crap go away. I just remember. It did that for me, the uh, Chrome, Chrome and uh, Android. And, uh, lost my place, but. I think I'm already past it. No, here we go. This is a White Westinghouse, and I believe, I thought it was made in the late 70s, early 80s, but I saw on the tag it said like 05 a month and, and a year it looked like. So I think it's made in 93. 
I can't. When I look up, the, the only numbers I can find on it is the part number of the dryer it's, itself. All I find is no, no longer made. And uh, I do find parts that look like the right ones when I go to it. But, you know, different years, there's a lot of differences in them, like moisture sensors. This is before that was put in them. Um, and the, well, I won't go into all that junk yet. Let's just go step by step. Okay, electric, no heat. We got 240 volts. I think, I don't believe the element's bad, but I, after all the junk I looked at, I know it's not bad because it comes on when it's, uh, sometimes it'll come on. Well, what happens if you, if you, if it's not quite out of time and you, and you're, you check your clothes, you know, open the door, it shuts down, your clothes are dry, you get them out, uh, it will, the element will keep coming on until the thermal shut off shuts it off and it'll just do it over and over and, and uh, I saw it do it once or twice, and I thought, well, it's just probably, it's off, you know, everything's old. And, um, anyway, it's, it's doing it now. I can't make it do it, but it'll do it any time it wants to. Anyway, uh, got 240 volts. I still need to check if it's getting 240 volts to the element. It must be physically broken to be bad, the element. And I already know I got, I had uh, both legs of the heating element. Or both sides I uh, had 125 volts I believe if I remember right I'll check it all again with the power on but first I'm going to do continuity testing with it unplugged make sure I don't get killed and blow my meter up or something uh, but there's more I found a video and I took a bunch of screenshots that has really good details of how to, it's actually for a Sears dryer newer one but it it tells you how to test everything real quick and easy so what I've already tested on the uh, thermal shut the the, uh, ther um, the thermal shutdown uh, thermostat, and I couldn't think of the right words. I, I have a new thermistor that I bought in '94, I mean 2014, and I decided at the time that it didn't need it, and it's been working since then. But uh, the more I look at it, it doesn't really look like any of the parts I have. So either it's a different looking replacement or it's uh, not even got the right one. Don't go to sleep, you piece of crap. Okay, and I have, uh, but if the, uh, you know, either one of the thermostats, the high limit thermostat or the, you know, temperature thermostat is bad, then that's what I need to know. But they, I did a jumper, I jumped them with just with the jumper wires and it didn't make the heating element come on. Then I started thinking about how it, it'll come on when it should be off. Uh, that it could be something wrong with the uh, timer thermostat. Now the mosquitoes are coming out. They've been coming in my room last week. I don't really want to wear that smelly crap, but if they keep bothering me, I will. Got the. I had the back door open, but it was just too loud because there's a highway. There's one row of houses in the highway, and plus the sun's almost down. I might as well shut shut the front door too. I guess I better do it before this garage gets full of. Oh. I was going to grab my remote for the garage door, but there's a button right here. I'm getting swarmed with mosquitoes. I notice I'm just telling that right now. I have things that you can burn. Where is that stuff? Okay, um, I can tell they're going to drive me crazy. Well, let's just wait. I'm, I'm, last two days I've done research and I kept wanting to come out and work, but I was not couldn't think straight. Couldn't wasn't feeling good. Even feeling good enough to walk around and do stuff. Today I'm feeling stronger, but so I'm out here, but my brain is frazzled still, I guess. All right, so if mosquitoes keep bothering me, I'll have to light my mosquito candle or put some stuff on or do something. Okay, um, I don't have to stand up, do I? It's kind of hurting, already beginning to strain my back. Standing up like that, so there we go. Now I'm actually in the shot. Okay, uh,
Yeah, I already knew that these uh, heating elements need to be broken to actually be bad. I mean, let's, now, if they're grounded out, well, let me just read this. If they're grounded out, you can get some weird behavior like, uh, uh, like what's happening here. But that's in some, I don't think that's even in this part right here. But So I've got it all kind of figured out. Go from here to here to here to here, you know. They say that one side of the, uh, wait a minute, let me look at this. Okay, the, the element must be physically broken to be bad. If you, if you have no power at the heating element, remove power, I have power, uh, from the wires. Remove power, remove wires, unplug it. Remove the wires to the heating element and isolate them. Okay, so they can't be, can't touch anything. Of course, you want to look at them, make sure they have. Sometimes they'll get so old, they overheat, and it, it could be a space heater or a dryer, that, and they'll start drooping. Of course, in this case, you know they're going, they're going like this, so they're not necessarily, but they could droop and touch the back of the cabinet. They're like that. If it's like that, you probably you really ought to replace it because it's not going to last much longer. But anyway, if they touch the the, the, the cabinet, the, the metal, then it's going to ground them out, and that was probably what will cause it to short and then melted into right there at that spot. Uh, yeah, well, so one side's supposed to show 120, the other shows zero. I swear mine both said 120 on each leg, but I was going from the element connector to the ground with it all wired up though, so. And what I was thought, yeah, that's got it. That's the way it has to be. In order for the element to heat up, one of your wires has to be the power, the other one has to be the common. In this case, you need 220, so that's what's kind of throwing me in a... But anyway, I just went to the ca ca chassis ground where, where there was a ground wire hooked onto the chassis, and I got 120 on both of them. So probably just did my test kind of back back backwards. Uh, unless I forgot, and I got 120 on one and zero on the other. But And that was with it... Uh, well, with it in run mode, I guess. I don't remember now. Why am I going backwards? Okay. Uh... Make note of the color of the wires. You're taking the wires off. I keep getting sidetracked. Move power to the dryer. Okay, now they're saying move power to the dryer. All right, and uh, check a wiring diagram. I don't. This is where I stopped on this one because I can't, I don't have any wiring diagram. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, this is a real good one. There's all kinds of things. I just things out of this one. Now what I just remembered is uh, I need out of the web browser now. Go back to my email I sent. This is my mom's tablet, so I sent it from me to her. That's why I had to do all this to get to where I could look at this, you know. Okay, now I'm going to go to Google Photos because I took a bunch of screenshots of a video that was really had a quick, easy way to... Uh, and I shared this, you know, an album... So that I could come and look at it. So pictures of the dryer and the parts from years past when I was working on it, the ones that had what pertained to what I'm doing, and then uh, <clears throat> yeah, here's that tag, big yellow tag that says yeah 593. It didn't say 05. It just says 5 forward slash 93. PN 13121490. That's the part number, and I did see. I thought that White Westing, I couldn't find hardly anything about White Westinghouse, so I thought, well, White may have got out of the picture, but they still do have White Westinghouse manufacturing. There isn't, it's still around, it's still manufacturing dryers and washers, and I don't know what else, but they only had two models of dryers, though. Uh, and uh, But they sell them under other brand names, and I kind of gather uh, that they're making them for Sears, uh, but I think for Whirlpool, Anyway, um, this one has been really good, but I lasted all these years. Repair when something breaks, you buy, you know, like the bearing is the only thing that really goes. It goes out about once every 11 years, and uh, the drum bearing. And I've got a brand new one that I bought last time, about a year ago when this one broke. I rigged it up. I talked about that in the other videos, but I actually made videos of it, but I guess I never renamed them. I just, or if I don't know if I upload them, I can't find them on my YouTube channel. Uh, but uh, 
I not have ever uploaded them, but I really thought I did. Anyway, that's that yellow tag. Okay, now what? Oops, that's not what we want. Oh, yeah, that is. Let's see. I want to go back to the... Where I can just get on through there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And I'll get the camera over at the parts when I get to that part. Now, here's the one. <clears throat> it's Sears from the Sears Parts Direct site. And it's... Uh, it, it's newer than this, but the basic testing, real quick with die, it's got pictures of the actual parts, and then, and like when during the video they would show the the little uh, pictures that they put on a kind of like a graph or whatever. They've got the got the uh, well, there's no point. I, it, it's just to help me. Uh, no point in trying to go into this too much, but we need to check the. Uh, what all this is going to help you check through is the uh, thermal, they call one the thermal cutoff fuse, high limit thermostat, uh, operating thermostat. Now the thermal cutoff fuse is what I believe is, when you buy the part, it's a thermistor. At least for, that's, that's what uh, this manufacturer calls it. That's the thing is, you know, I've dealt, I've dealt with the thermistors before, or learned about them. They've been used in a lot of stuff, and here's the one I've got. Thermistor. So if you're looking for a thermal cutoff fuse, you may be going around and around and you see a thermistor and you'll forget, say, oh, that's not what I want. This is Electrolux brand made for Philco, Frigidaire, Gibson, White, Westinghouse. I can't read the other one. Tap, tapping. So, um, but, and I, I mean, if that was, if that was bad, I'd be happy because, well, other than having to take, well, I got to take the drum out. I got to go ahead and put that new bearing in it. Uh, and it's underneath the drum. So, but I got to make sure it's actually bad. Uh, no, no point in doing all that if it don't work. You know, I want to know what's wrong before I just start replacing parts. So the power cord, I, I yeah, I need to check that, that, that there's nothing wrong with that. You never know. Uh, make sure I'm getting 220 inside of there. I thought I did because when I tested both legs of the heating element with it, with it on, yeah, that's how I got power to it, uh, I thought, okay, 120 on one side, 120 on the other, so that's 240, so that's all good, but I better test it. There's a few, a junction block in there where the main power comes in. I need to check on that. All right, so, uh, so and then their heating element, you're checking that as part of this. Uh, they got a weird looking heating element. In there. Uh, I know you can't see any of that. Ow! I guess it wouldn't. Well, it's not gonna be. Nope. It's. I'm not in. That's not my main thing here. Is to, and and when the things are working right, you get 240 to your heating element, and you get 120 to the uh, motor. Okay. So you want to check the breaker. All right. Check the breaker. Let's don't be. Let's don't do shortcuts and wish we had. The, the breaker's really hard to get to. That's why I didn't go over there already. I mean, I know it's... Uh, actually, let's... Yeah, if the breaker was anything at all wrong with the breaker, I wouldn't have got 220 at the uh, plug. <laughs> That's why I didn't, didn't go messing with the breaker. Okay, so come on. Now... It's getting us started to test. Oh, this is testing the, uh, I think this is backwards from, it's down there. Oh, this is backwards from the order I wanted to go in. It's starting, I guess they're reordered uh, when I put them in, up here on Google Photos. That's uh, showing you how to test the uh, thermos, uh, timer, control timer. And now where are we? Okay, this is the one I want to do first. No, that's still the timer. Okay. I'm going to get to the beginning of this set of pictures and then go backwards, I guess. I hope it's not all way out of order to where it's messing up me being able to use it. Timer. I think it's out of order. Crap. 
Okay. I'm seeing timer and no timer. And let's go back here. Oh, I see. See, I got them in two rows, and I think it's making me go, making me go the wrong way. I don't know how to start it out in order. Okay, timer. That's still about the timer. Well, I can't see them good enough like that, so I have to. When I do that, this one you got to go left and right. Some of them, you know, like you can go up and down. I guess I could if I turn the phone. I don't want it that way, though. This is the right orientation timer. I'll just have to really... Okay, this is heating element. They're supposed to go in order. They do. If I look at them in the order, I took them on my computer, they go in order of how you do it. But that's still timer. Before I do timer, I need to do the, uh, it seems like I got duplicate things here. That's doing the heating element. Tells you how many amps you need to have across this stuff. Oh, okay, that's each of the thermostats. I was going too fast and not paying attention to what was in the picture. Operating thermostat. Okay, cutoff thermostat. Okay, moisture sensing. That's just a picture of this particular uh, dryer. All right. Uh, still timer. I'm looking at where the leaves are in the picture. Seems to me that I'm at the end of my screenshots. What am I missing here? Drive me crazy. I'm do, I, I, do, I do better with videos, and I, I used to could remember a video long to do what I saw, but now I can't, so I need a picture. Uh, okay. Don't uh, don't guess any of them got skipped. I upload. I just dragged and dropped the whole folder to the photos thing and made it upload. Okay, this is it. Okay, I, I, get, I can tell by the picture of the guy doing it. It's, it's a different, made differently than this one, but. But it shows the lead, the test leads, one on the timer and one on the uh, heating element. Okay, I guess I forgot how it was done is what my problem is. see okay the big i remember him saying the big red wire on the timer so i'm gonna have to get that cover off of where the timer is okay so i kept saying i don't want to see timer yet i'm not ready for timer and i was yeah okay it's not out of order my brain's out of order all right <laughs> Some of them were scouts I didn't mean to get, like a picture of the multimeter. They got a fluke with the clamp style deal. I don't have fancy stuff like that. So, yeah, okay, they say to unplug it. Okay, and then you'll do your test, and you're going to want to get uh, your ohm test somewhere. I know well, it's about 15 ohms of resistance, I think. Okay, I'll put this back over here. Back out of the way so I can work without. <clears throat> Breaking that thing. Well, see, my heating element, I have to raise this front lid to get to it. 